today is the second day of Chinese New Year and what better place to spend that time than Chinatown of Bangkok. Uh, yesterday there was a lot more people but unfortunately I didn't have my camera with me yesterday. However, it's still quite busy today. This place is quite popular with um, the fried noodle, as you can see, it's getting cooked up right now. It's also famous for its fish mole soup. If you watched my last video, you can see the fish mole soup I had last time, which was pretty good. restaurant as you can see it's 9 p.m. and still a massive queue for this place um, I'll show you what's available here uh, the most famous thing is this which is the roll noodle soup and then they also have some rice dishes crispy pork uh, spare ribs yeah, pop cross are all very delicious. If you just follow the one that says recommend and and it will deliver. For people who love desserts, this little area here with about 10 stalls it's a perfect place to get some desserts and the one in front of me is Sweet Time it's probably the most popular dessert shop here loads of selection and most of them are just 50 to 40 parts. Chestnuts. Another very popular place. Uh, Chinese noodle pork soup, which is rolled noodles. Very, very popular, as you can see. Many people eating here. This is another very, very popular place. Uh, barbecue seafoods. Throughout the street, you can find these Chinese stalls selling 
uh, Chinese snacks, pretty good souvenirs to bring back home to your friends. This is my favourite noodle shop, I think in all of Bangkok. Uh, the noodles are just so fresh, everything is just so fresh. Dragon dancers perform every Chinese New Year. They will perform the ritual shop by shop, stall by stall, and traditionally, this ritual will bring luck and prosperity. And we're heading into the fruit section. You can find them. Kinds of fruit, fruits here, apples, um, melons, coconuts, strawberries, grapes, everything. Pomegranate and I think lime and orange juice. A uh, seafood restaurant. As you can see, they are grilling some shrimps right now. That's pretty much it for this side of the street. So uh, let's head to the other side and see what we can find. Bar for some pineapples. The little stretch of the street we're entering have um, a handful of restaurants. Restaurants are quite famous at serving uh, shark fin soup, shark uh, fish maw soup, shark fin soups.
As you can see, he's making the face. Wow, this place smells incredible. If I wasn't full, I think I'd try this place out. And the number of customers justifies what tells you how delicious this place must be. This is a, well, it used to be very famous. Before the pandemic, there used to be massive queues waiting to eat at this um, seafood restaurant, I think. Yeah, it was uh, mainly serving seafoods. But as you can see, not very busy right now. So, uh, mainly focus on tourists I guess so not too many tourists here now and not too busy and this is the green the green restaurant it's a TNK seafood which is similar to the red restaurant that we've just talked about um, serving seafoods used to be very popular as well but still not doing too bad okay so I think I'm gonna end the video here because I've basically went through the most popular areas of the Bangkok Chinatown uh, please if you enjoy the video subscribe and like help me grow the channel so I can show you more places in and around Bangkok. Thank you very much again. See ya.